好吗？好。Let me show you one of the world's biggest foods. 好。You know, this is soybean. It may look really small, very, very small. You know, cooking is just like not only art, but also magic with the right touch and a few ingredient. From this little guy, you have all of these. Ah, look at this. You know what this is? This is soybean sprout. Look at this, soybean sprout. A lot of you have only eaten mung bean sprout. And this is edamame. This is the real soybean, okay? And then when you remove this inside there, it is this. This is also soybean, and this is very nutritious. And before all of these, then you see this is the dry soybeans, much smaller. And then you can soak them, cut in half, and then you can roast them. And this is toasted. Soybean and very crunchy, wonderful snack. And then from this you make miso. Miso is fermented soybeans. And then you can buy them like this, different color, golden brown, and of course darker color like this. And of course everybody's all-purpose seasoning. Soy sauce also made with soybeans. Now a lot of people don't realize. Nowadays everybody talk about health food. How many are health food? Not nuts, health food, uh, health food, diet conscious people. Everybody. Now you are. I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure all of you eat tofu, right? Tofu is very healthy. In fact, anybody over 40 years old should eat more tofu because tofu actually proven to be very, very good for your heart and prevent cancers. Very, very good. Now, when you go out to buy tofu, you can buy them in package like this. You can buy them soft or firm, regular. Or silken, and then you can buy them in a little tube like this. You cut it open, you just squeeze it out, you slice it, and put it in your soup. And then, ah, another thing. This is something. I call it the press flavor tofu. This is very hard. You see this? And go, ha! It bounces. This like a, ha! It, it jumps. And then, what you do is this is actually something a lot of chefs use. Again, ah. Uh, Put this down, and I put this over here, and I put this over here, and because I am going to pass this around and ask a few people to try this five flavor press tofu called press tofu. Uh, please, please pass it around. Uh, everybody have one, and don't pass it on to the other side <laughs> because they don't get excited enough about this little food, little baby. And in in effect, besides all of this, you know what else? Look at this. This is fermented bean curd, ah, uh, fermented bean curd. And I would also pass it around, and everybody can smell it. This is very, very useful in a lot of Chinese dishes as a flavoring. And then I'm gonna. The first thing I'm gonna do is soybean fried rice. Here I have some fried rice. I have some egg, and I'm gonna do a wonderful dish: soybean fried rice, because I have so many soybeans, so many. Little guys, I put them all together. Ah, oh, now it's a lot of little guys, okay? <laughs> One little guy and a lot of little guys. And this is very healthy. And then, of course, I have this. And I'm gonna, I have some egg. Okay. And get another egg. A lot of people don't realize chopstick is a very, very functional, very, very functional. Look at that, they're like an egg bitter. But you know what? I think it would be wonderful to have somebody to come up and help me out. Anybody would like sure. to come up? <laughs> oh, Sarah, please come, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Oh, everybody, this, this is how you put it up. Okay, mix it up. And then, yeah. yes. Now, keep whipping? Just keep whipping, okay. because <laughs> this is long green rice. This is long green rice, and all you have to do is you have all this ingredient here. You have the soybean, you have the rice, and we beaten an egg. And basically, what we're gonna do is, Stefan and I will show you why this dish, it is so wonderful, so quick, so easy, yet so healthy. <laughs> When you cook 
the rice, you can always cook the rice ahead of time. Oh. And all the big pieces like this, you see this? Yeah. And you can crush it a little bit. Oh. And also it would be really nice. You look really good, but I think in my kitchen, you should always <laughs> roll up your sleeve a little okay. bit. You see? Ah, Thank you. <laughs> this is my kitchen. And this is our audience, you see? <laughs> Stephen and I are gonna make some soybean fried rice. So get the rice ready. Okay. And uh, I'm a bit late. And you know what? I might need a little bit more soybeans. Oh. Okay, while I'm getting this ready, I'm gonna put, heat up a frying pan, and I put a tiny bit of oil, okay? And then I move this around. Yeah, let's get a tiny bit of extra, yes. More extra of soybean okay. ready, yes. And then. So I'm gonna split these. Garlic. Now this is garlic. This is garlic. Ah, oh, Stephanie, take a look at this. It's very easy to peel garlic. All you have to do is get a little wet like this, and the whole thing comes out like oh. this, see? See yep. this? And then make sure, after that, you can actually crush the garlic. Here is a piece of garlic. See? Ah, it's already done. And you wow. put it right here. You see this? <laughs> uh, and then, once again, I'm like, ha, ah, ah. <laughs> done. And then I'm going, ah, 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 already done. Whoa, wow. exciting. You see, the audience loved the garlic. You see that? That's the reason why I give it to you. Okay. I'm going to ask Stephanie to do something. Why don't you uh, do a couple more because uh, the audience loved the garlic the so much. I'm going to use two <laughs> cloves of garlic for this audience. Normally I use one little clove, but now I use two head of Do I garlic. peel it first? Yeah, just okay. peel it first. Peel and then in the meantime, I'm going to put the garlic here. Oh, this is like garlic. Garlic is good for you. You know, yeah. if you think Italian use a lot of garlic, you should see the Korean. They, every day is a garlic festival. Okay? And then soybeans. Mmm. If you want, you can even put a tiny bit of green onion. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Stephanie. Gingerly. 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 With garlic. Whoa. You know, the garlic is dead. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> and then I put the egg. Oh, beautiful. Stir fry the egg. You see this? Move them around. <laughs> oh, look at this. And then the rice. How's okay. the rice? Oh. This isn't working for me. No, no, this is very, okay. it's working. Let me, let me show you. It, it, it's working. Okay, it's I working. get a really smash. Because, you know why it's working? You see this? Ah, ah okay. <laughs> and then we put the rice here. Oh, break this up, put the rice. Ah. Very good. Very good. Oh. Okay. Yes. And then. <laughs> Seven, you're making more noise than me in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, Seven, you okay, earlier you going. asked me. How much? How much do you need? Uh, no, you continue to do it. Okay. No, no, no. no that's actually that's that's, that's enough. That's good. Okay. That's enough. Okay. Okay. And then actually, you know what? I need a tiny bit more soybean. The soybean is so good. Okay. Okay. Now the most important thing is if you want to make fried rice that that have fluffy rice, don't stick together, use long grain rice. Uh -huh. Don't use medium grain or glutinous or short grain rice. Unless you want to make a fried rice a ball, then use glutinous <laughs> rice. Because the more you stir, the more they get bigger and bigger and bigger. You see? Oh, this is gonna be good. And then put a tiny, tiny bit of. Soy sauce? You can use oyster sauce or soy sauce, or you can use mushroom soy. This is mushroom soy, okay? And then this is look at look at the color. This is very very easy to do. Why I'm doing the fried rice and you're doing more of the soybeans because I love to have more soybean, okay? We're gonna make the miso soup. Very easy to make miso soup because here we already have the miso over there, and then the rice we're gonna. Set this aside and put the fried rice right over here first, okay? Ah. And then you can just put a tiny bit more. Look at this. Oh. Very simple. And then put a tiny bit more on top. In the meantime, we're going to make the miso soup. <laughs> ah, look at this. I have boiling water here. And I'm going to boil up some noodle. Oh, Stephanie, have you seen oh. this noodle? No. Take a look at this noodle. This is uh, the Japanese angel hair noodle. Huh? All you have to do, this is for miso soup. You put it right in here, and you just, it doesn't take too long to cook, okay? And in the meantime, while you're boiling this, we're gonna make the soup. This is the, uh, 
Oh, look at this. Is that chicken broth? This is, uh, you can use chicken broth, you can use seafood broth. Actually, this is seafood broth. I use dashi. Dashi is a seafood, a Japanese seafood. Smell oh. a little bit. Oh, that's fishy. Yes, it's very nice. It is. This is, <laughs> this it is kind smell of like fish, not fishy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, boy. Sorry. Stephanie, wrong choice of word. <laughs> In my kitchen, nothing is fishy. No, no, no. It's fresh. It's fresh. But anyway, since you think it's fishy, why don't you show it to the people over there? Let okay. them test. You know? And then this is seaweed, okay? This is seaweed. This is seaweed. We also put the tiny bit of seaweed over here. Oh, tiny bit of seaweed over here. Oh. Yes. A tiny bit of green onion. And do me a favor, put a tiny bit of miso. Oh. And I've then, never used this before. Yes. And then we put a tiny bit of bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoot. Oh, look at this. And slice it up. And I put it right here. And then some carrot. Julian, some carrot. And put it right over here. And then you and I are going to cut up some tofu. You can cut up. This is your, yours is firm. My station. Okay? okay. Firm tofu. And mine is soft tofu. This is how you do it. Cut. Look at this. And then cut. Look at this. Another piece. And then another cut. Okay. And this way we can put all of these right in our soup. In the meantime, I think ah. Stephanie and I is gonna finish this quick and easy miso soup. Not fishy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan and I are working hard making this miso soup for everybody in the studio. Here is the Japanese style noodle, angel hair pasta that always go with the miso soup. Give a little bit of body. And then of course, you're doing the uh, shiitake mushroom. Let's get one more and some carrot. And then I'm gonna finish up the tofu. This is soft tofu. You see how I do it? I push it down, I push it down, and I push it down, and I oh. turn it to the other side, and I go one. The little dice like this. Little dice like this, and I put it right here. Little dice, 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 and, and I put it right here. Oh, and right. then, Stephanie, you can do me a favor. Slowly put all the carrot and the shiitake mushroom and the tofu and all of this in my soup. In the meantime, I'm gonna get ready to do the wok toss miso glazed pork. Here, I have a piece of pork here. I'm gonna cut it up into pieces this big. Cut it up, cut it up. You see how I cut it? I move it, and I cut it, I move, and I cut, I move, and I cut, I move, and I cut, I move. <laughs> you see, rhythm, because I am exercising. You see this? Huh? And then we transfer it and put it right here. And then we're going to marinate this. Stephen, when you cook at home, do you marinate your meat? Sometimes. Yeah. You uh, know, for, for Chinese, uh, they always marinate the meat. Because by marinating it, it makes it a lot nicer and easier. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of soy, OK? And a tiny bit of cornstarch to marinate. And a tiny bit of wine, if you want. A tiny bit of wine. And marinate your meat, OK? And marinate your meat. The idea is to give that nice, wonderful sealing in the juice of these pork. So when you cook it, it's nice and dry. And then in the meantime, cut up a tiny bit of this, uh, uh, mm, onion, one, two, and three. And then also, I am going to make a tiny bit of the miso glaze. Here, I have some murin. And a tiny bit of, I use the other side. This is, uh, uh, Miso, golden miso, tiny bit of sugar, okay? Tiny bit of, uh, this is very important, okay? Um, what else do you use that mirin in? Ah, smell it, this smell, one. smell. This is uh, actually rice oh, wine. Oh, wow. It's rice wine, it's sweet. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, sweet. A little and then alcoholic. A tiny, tiny bit of broth or dashi, okay? And then also, very, very important, you know what? 
why we're doing this, Stam, do me a favor. Yeah. Why don't we serve a tiny bit of the uh, miso soup to a couple of people? Serve two guests, okay? Serve the people that are most excited today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There it is. The sauce is ready. If you love miso, use more. Now, if you like, like dark miso, use the darker color miso. Oh, let us serve them. And the sauce is ready. How is everything? Oh, it looks good. really good. It smells good. Really good, too. good, really good. It smells really good. And then Getting actually, you can use a, a little bit of chopstick ah. to pick up some more noodle. Ah, that you makes see it this? easier. Oh, this is much easier. Yeah, serve uh -huh. a couple of people. Okay. And put a tiny bit more of these. And a tiny bit more of these. You see? And then we serve our people over there. Thank in the you. Mean, yeah, let's serve over there. <laughs> Why Stephanie serving our guests? I'll finish this quick and easy meal eh, all by myself. <laughs> I hope our friends enjoyed the miso soup. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you enjoyed the miso soup? Yes. How do you know how to say soybean in Chinese? Anybody? <laughs> Repeat after me. Wong. Wong. Tao. Tao. Yellow bean. It's called soybean. Wong Tao. Wong Tao. Wong Tao. When I say this, I say Wong Tao. Wong Tao. Wong Tao. Wong Tao. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now we do the miso glaze or walk toss miso glaze pork. Hit up your wok, toss this in, okay? Marinated already, okay. Big pieces of pork, lean pork, nice and healthy, okay. And then you put a tiny bit of onion. This is wonderful. Do you see what I'm doing is I keep on breaking it and I toss it, uniform cooking. Don't ever stand there and just go. <laughs> that is not stir fry. I always tell people, you're not stir frying. You. There, five. <laughs> Whoa, look at the sound. And then the onion, okay? Onion adds not only texture, but also extra sweetness to it. That's why. Oh, look at this. And then once I get all of these, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let it stir a little bit, cook a little bit, make sure it's cooked. In the meantime, I'm going to serve this uh, to our friends here. This is edamame. You go to a Chinese restaurant, Japanese restaurant, you can eat this and pass around and enjoy. In the meantime, I'm going to let everybody, remind everybody, see, soft tofu, firm tofu, pressed tofu. I'm going to take this to you and you can take a look and move and feel the texture, okay? Feel the texture. Feel it. You see, amazing, okay? And then, whoa, ready. And then miso glaze, very important. Oh, beautiful. Miso glaze. I can smell the miso. I can smell the murine. And also I can feel the sweetness of the onion. Can you smell it? Huh? Huh? Oh, this is so wonderful. When this is almost ready, I want to make sure everybody knows that this is glaze. That means it's cooked well. In the meantime, I'm going to get ready, okay? A lot of people don't realize, today we actually use a little bean. The little guy will make a lot of things. And I would like to ask some of you, including my good friend Stephanie, what other, what different forms of soybean that we have used today? Anybody? We use tofu. What else? Miso. We have used miso. Edamame? Edamame? Ah, oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's soybean. That's soybean. <laughs> what else? Soy sauce. What else? Now, what I'm going to do is, while you're guessing, we're going to garnish our rice with some extra toasted, ah, uh, Soybeans give texture contrast. You can actually make 
your wonderful sauce. Look at this. We garnish this, garnish this, garnish a little bit. Look at this. Beautiful. It smells so good. Mm. You know what it, it makes? It's a toasted sesame seed. Look at it. Toasted sesame seed. Seaweed. Toasted seaweed. You crush them and you mix them all together. You can add in a lot of things. And the great thing about this is you can use it any time. Remember, if yen can go mean and lean with the soybean, so can you. Everybody, judge in.